Hi everybody, it's Alicia Katz Pollock from learn.royalwise.com and today I wanted to give you just a quick tip about some of the new features when you're using QuickBooks Online's merchant services, some of the built-in features that totally blow it out of the water compared to using Square or PayPal when you want to swipe a card on site. Uh, so let me go ahead and share my screen with you and show you what I am talking about. So when you have your QuickBooks Online file connected to, um, to Merchant Services, there's a couple things that are new. So first, if I go up to the gear in the upper right-hand corner and then down to Account and Settings, and then head over to the Payments tab on the left-hand side over here, you'll see a couple new things. One is that you can click the green button to manage your account, and that takes you to merchantcenter.intuit.com, which is the main hub for your merchant services. But you don't have to go there now as much as you used to. The things that I want to show you are, first of all, down here under monthly statements. You can now see your statements for your merchant services based on your um, uh, uh, just by pulling them up. You can go back about two years. Unfortunately, this is a sample file, and so I don't have a whole lot of merchant services that I can actually show you with any charges run. So I'm having, up oh, there's one. So when I click on it, I'll click view, and it takes me into the merchant services. And so here I can see all of the transactions that were run using the merchant services the transaction fees that I was charged, your per transaction fees as well. But something that you might not know is there, if you go down to the very bottom, you can actually see an aggregate fee percentage, which is the average rates for all of the different payment methods that you've used. You know, if you've used ACH, there's no charge for it. Or maybe you're on the new program that allows you to get your money faster if you pay 1%. Um, it, but there's swipe fees, there's fees if you key it in, there's fees if you invoice, they all are different. So this gives tells you what the average is. And you can see here that my average aggregate fee percentage is less than the rate if I was using Stripe or Square. So that's an easy way to make that apples to apples comparison. Now let's head back into QBO and I want to show you another cool feature. And that is that when I go to the uh, sales tab and then down to deposits. So if you're in any of the sales areas, you have a new option for deposits right here. And again, you're only going to see this if you're already running QB payments. What this now shows you is the batches for all of your credit card payments. So if you saw money show up in your bank feed and you're not sure, well, you know it was a couple credit card charges, but you don't know whose they are, you can now click on the drop down for each of the lines and it will show you exactly who the customer is and what their total charges were. And you can even see the fees that were associated with it. It will tell you the date that it was deposited, it will also tell you when things are going to be deposited. So if you're waiting on some money and you're watching your bank account waiting for it to come in, you can go to this deposits tab right here and see exactly when it's expected to hit your account. So those are just a few of the new features with QB payments. If you are interested in knowing more about the merchant services built into QuickBooks Online, please do uh, check out my website. If you go to learn.royalwise.com and then go to the catalog and just come up to the search and do a search for merchant services, you can see the courses that we have. If you are a bookkeeper or an accountant, I have the ins and outs from Intuit's Merchant Services from the back end. If you are a business owner, I have the instructions here for how to actually use the Merchant Services to take charges from your clients. So there's two different courses that I have about the topic. So uh, hopefully you found those two new look what I found features helpful. And so feel free to join me on my website. This is Alicia Katz Pollock at learn.royalwise.com.